Animal side, right? So CC and C is on the Monkey King. They want Monkey against Brood. And if they accomplish at least that, the rest is passable. And then mm -hmm. Ideal is also PL not against Weaver. If Optic can get that and get to the late game, I think this PL is just going to run them. Like, it's this is, there is no counter. Well, maybe this could be our first game today where we see uh, TP lane rotations until everyone gets the matchup they want to have. It could happen. There could be some TP. Why does Brewmaster look like Tuska with that set? <laughs> he looks... And, and, and is, is his light like almost a smoking pipe? I don't know. I look at When I look at that thing he has on his head, I, all I can think of is the old... What, what were the, Little the, doctors? No, the old uh, cameras that used... Uh, oh, the flash bulbs. Yeah, what was it? What is the element they used? Uh, Magnesium? Well, I just the, know they broke the, the light bulbs. The thing that made the flash was... I think you burnt some magnesium or something and that made the flash effect. That's how you did Or something. Yeah. Uh, something is telling me that. Whatever. I just know them as flash bulbs. But yeah, that yeah, thing. That's the tech. So, so we'll take a couple of pictures from Brewmaster, who looks like Tuska, who is kind of a little bit of everything. <laughs> oh, this draft is all over the place, honestly. Yeah. I, I think it's hard. To, it's really hard to predict how this game goes because so much of it comes down to if either team gets the exact lanes they want. If VP get Brood not against the Monkey, it's amazing. If they get him against Monkey, it's still okay. Uh, but yeah, in my mind, there's a timer on VP. They mm -hmm. they need to win the game before it goes way too late. And well, my answer takes. VP already looks to get aggressive. We'll see if Solo can get as many stacks up on uh, intelligence steals we saw from OG earlier today with no tell. Uh, but a four man smoke up down south. Pycat's gonna be the man they want to target, and Pycat's gonna be the one who breaks the smoke. A quick curse on him. They put out the bramble, and uh, Pycat, he'll have to doppelganger himself away. Tries to dodge a little bit. PPD's in the neighborhood. Wave of Terror is his first level up. And Pika needs the life to survive, and he's got the distance. 30 seconds no to one. battle. Unable to finish the job, but uh, he'll have to go all the way back to base before he runs back out again. And he has to skill doppelganger level one, which means he has no. zero laning pressure until he's level two. Like, uh, both of PL's other skills are what you want to skill to oh, secure oh, CS oh, or just to pressure oh, early on. So this is already, it's already a victory for VP to force this. Mm -hmm. That already helps. Oh, at least uh, VP are able, uh, they actually, it's still gonna be a, a normal split of the runes because 33 as well as I own this top lane area. No one's around it. So it will be Ramses in the mid versus the Monkey King. So VP had the lane matchup they didn't really want to have. Oh my god, that's annoying. Uh, <laughs> I think, so I think for VP, this is the matchup that they would prefer not to have for Brood. But I think the most important thing is that Brood has a solo lane. Yeah. And I think this is the way they secure it, right? Like, if you side lane oh. Brood this patch, how often can you really solo it? It may be it's a really win hard. anyway. Like, if, if this courier snipe happens and the salve gets taken out, like, solo doesn't have the observer ward down. They don't see him, but he knows his position, sees everything. So this courier snipe, they weren't even looking for it. And Radiant's this courier, courier goes down. Killed. Goodbye, courier goodbye Salve and CCC's, uh, CC and C's aggressiveness. I still think he can play the lane aggressively for a while. He's not going to need any regen until Brood is level 3. You'll see him just take free CS. He's going to hit the Brood a couple times, force Brood to play defensively to avoid Jingu, and then he'll take CS. Yep. So. And Ramsey has to come in close to fight this. He's doing a pretty good job getting a couple of CS on the Brood. He'll get some CS under tower too, probably. <laughs> Well, sentry wards are down up on top lane, so no one thinks he can try and dodge away from the searing arrows of Zai, but we'll see his consumables put to the test, and we'll also see the pull of Roger put to the test, but that's why Zai already has the observed ward back behind the tower. They want to know the second Roger does this. Cancel clarity, stop the pull, keep the lane equilibrium. Man, I can't remember the last time I saw position 4 brew. <laughs> that's been a while. That's a classic. Oh, hang on. Find the ward. Find the ward. Got it. Too late. Claps. Brambles. Sai will be able to run around it. Nice cut through the tree so we can take that eastern road. Not the best brambles there from Roger. Didn't exactly get the uh, <clears throat> the angles covered. And Zai finds the one way out, so nicely done. That's a spell, by the way, that we're going to see more Dark Willow this tournament than uh, we've seen in recent tournaments, probably. Mm -hmm. And one of the big reasons, I think, is Brambles are so strong level 1. The damage is big. It got increased from 100 to 140. It's like the Crystal Nova treatment, basically, that the Brambles got. Uh, Very strong. CCNC, so close to killing off about uh, five, six of those Spidelings with one, sli one swipe. It's going to be some good money for him later on. Uh, 
no one's just having a real hard day up on top lane. Oh, he's going to have to burn the sal pretty soon. Not good. Oh, yeah, Rams got him low. Oh, he's fine. He's got a fairy fire, he's however. He's got a full heal now. He needs to smack the wave. Maybe he wants to get some spiders. Yeah. yeah. Looks for him. Damage. Yeah, clip a couple. Oh, they're going again up on top. Zai. Really, really low was uh, Roger. Now, she didn't commit to try and chase down Zai. Even when he's inside the Shadow Realm. And Zai willing to walk a little bit closer again. Mid lane, Ramsey's is low on life, but Solo coming in with a double damage rune. It's actually CC and C who's dying. And that'll be the first blood. Ramsey's just jukes it around the, cri the cliff. Just need a little bit of extra help with the DDE Solo, able to do exactly that. Yeah, nice movement from Solo. I think maybe Optic should have known this was coming because when, when it's the off lane support that rotates minute three, it very quickly becomes apparent when when the safe laners don't face that silencer in this situation. Like, why is silencer not hitting PPD? PPD's why, dead uh, too. Yep. He throws out the sun after being cursed, so he's, he's already locked himself into death. So Solo will get his plus two. He didn't claim it for the other one. Nice doppelganger away. He's trying to juke it with the, with the illusions. He tried to avoid the power shot, but he still got a hit. So didn't work exactly like Pike had wanted. Uh, this this early laning stage is going very well for, we, for VP. Getting the kill for Brood first, so he's having a good time in this lane that's hard for him in the beginning. Yeah. And securing Pasha a good start too. Sure no one will catch up later with his Weaver. C, C, and C. Just loving his CS score, even though I know a lot of it is spiders. Actually, even with the death, it's 1600 oh, to 2200. There's a... Uh... Last shot. Back underneath the tower. This might give away the ward, though. I think he knows that Clinks doesn't get this hit off unless there's an ult behind the tower. So maybe you can find that before it expires. Got a minute and 20 to do it. Curry's finally coming out, making some uh, Is that recovery a treks towards mid. Oh, he's rushing phase. Yeah. He's also going to get uh, ganked on. Roger's coming in. Looking for a bramble. Throws it down. Misses once again. Not exactly what Roger was hoping for, and actually had Zai do his own rotation. I think Roger feels a little uncertain about this movement, but he's still got the Shadow Realm, so he'll be fine. The first uh, CCNC goes phase here instead of Aquila first. I thought that was going to be his default in this situation. Like the phase boots give good damage, so you can try to kill the spiders with Boundless, but the extra armor and just the higher... Like the higher stats of having Aquila seems really, really useful for this particular matchup. It's time. I don't think he's going to be able to run down and kill the Brood with phase boots. Brood's still faster than you anyway. Yep. So, not completely sure about this. Let's see how it goes. Well, and a small issue, but uh, looks like the teams are good to go again. Let's get on with it. Oh, so they didn't respond when we said go? Let's try the chat wheel. It's <laughs> a good way to do it. 33 in Viz using his skeleton walk to get away. Actually wants to try and turn around. The climb is out. The Dark Will, however, with the extra life. 33 will have the distance. And Roger is forced to throw everything into the Brewmaster. Not the target he wanted to do, do it on. As I'm looking at that, Ramsey finds a kill on CCNC. This is not the greatest... Like, game even for PyCat. Like, I, I, you start begging the question, like, how many lanes have actually been won by Optic? And it feels like none is the answer, especially as PPD is going to go down again. Radiance Middle Tower Optic is are under getting attack. crushed right now. Like, this is, this is not good. We said all they need to, well, not all they need to, but what they need Radiance to do Middle is Tower they need to try to, to get into help. this mid-late game situation without being run over too fast early on because PL will be amazing this game. Yeah. But this mid lane is a travesty. Oh, the TPing in this the is really not good. He goes for a clap, the silence is nearby. PPD makes his way over too, but they won CCNC. The Spiderlings and Solo go over towards CCNC as Ramsey's looks for another target. Monkey King gets pop. The curse will do it. Oh. And Ramsey's the man to find the kills. Now they've turned their attention over towards Zai. Another clap out. The stick charges and raindrops protecting Solo for so long. Ramsey's wants better hit, but that drunken brawl. And Solo can turn again. Really? How many times can he do this and still survive? How is there no level of punishment that, that was a three on two? But it's it's a three on, on Brood. Uh, 
Toby, Monkey King is not a good comeback hero. Did you know that? I, I, I did know that, but uh, it's always good to to reiterate the crappy mess that Optic is in. Yeah, this is not good. He's level five and Brutus level level eight and has taken his tower minute seven. And, and now controls not, his jungle. This is not the way this lane should have gone, but what happened was the one rotation from Solo that got them the first blood projected or like... Zai's dead. It just pushed. Uh, the curse is out. Dead. The silence. This is uh, plus eight now for Solo. Hi. They've, they've just propelled this Broodmother out of control already, actually. It's such a big advantage that Ramses is now running CCNC down in the mid lane. Yeah. That's what Ramses loves to do, though. You give him that space, it's like 33, he's able to get some kind of rebuttal onto Solo underneath the Dire Observer Ward as well. But this is that power of Clinks, and normally a great, like, a good comeback mechanic, a uh, good comeback hero, Clinks, is able to slip through the back lines, take T1 towers, grab supports, Try and tilt the status quo. 33's game is pretty good right now. I think he's got what he needs on the clinks. Pasha and Solar going in after Pycat. Jukes for half a second. Pasha in pretty deep. The wind runs giving in the protection and goes straight after Phantom Lancer. Six charges can't let him survive, so he runs back up again, avoids the power shot, and then lances over towards Solar. This could be huge if Pycat survives, but he will not. It will be a trade off, a two for one. But it's the PL, the hero that's meant to be your saving grace, and no one with a double damage rune. A little bit more difficult because the Drunken Brawler, but just chases after Zai. A level four Brewmaster. He cannot survive that. No one will get the kill, and time lapses off every bit of damage done to him. I'm looking at how uh, how Optic need to approach this game because you're under so much pressure against Broodmother, and your communication in this game you have to you have to plan your next Dyer's move. Like they have attack. to think about okay, what? How do we alleviate this pressure? What's the solution? Are we going to hunt and try to kill the brood, or are we going to go and kill the other heroes? And I think no matter what your answer is, your Clinks has to be involved right now. I don't think anyone else on this map is going to do anything. Monkey King is tied down to this mid lane. If he leaves the lane for just 30 seconds, his tower is in a lot of trouble. Brood yep. is farming his all of his jungle, pushing in his lane. If you move the Brewmaster around, he's a level 4 support. This is not your classic Brewmaster mid at 9. He's not going to be able to get split off yet. And your safe lane, well, PL is very greedy and he went ring of health. He's not going to go for you. Oh, they see CNC's alone. There's your jump, caught inside of a bramble, able to get the stun off. But not enough space to be created. This guy doesn't even have tree dance. There's no way to do it. And then a Shadow Realm TP out. Good Safest build. way for Roger to, to escape. I think this is exactly how he skilled with Monkey King. In the you go four in the stun as fast as possible. This is not that common usually. Monkey King will max out Jingu or get a value point in tree dance, but you need the four in stun to be able to kill off Spiderlings and buy enough time to disengage. Mm -hmm. So, definitely agree with that. Under the Observer and Sentry, no one. He was just hanging around for the 10-minute rune. And they're gonna get all Every four bounty level. runes. No room for Optic. And they just see 33, like, they'll know when 33 gets involved. Like, you keep calling for it, but he's, he's farming underneath the Observer and Sentry. So they'll see when he runs up north looking for a kill. They'll see when he backs off and goes towards the mid. And thanks to the mass amounts of observers and sentries that VP have in the, in this mid lane, I guess impossible for Optic to surprise Ramses. He owns this mid. Yep. So maybe they go... Uh, okay, no. Yeah, VP just take bottom lane instead. Damn, CCNC is really far. Toby has 160 last hits. 116, I mean. <laughs> yeah, for his uh, net worth of 3.3k. 116 CS. to the 5.8k. He's 30 CS, 40 CS ahead of the Broodmother. Surely he's crushing his lane. Oh, for his That's yeah. problem. Uh, we, we could Greetings watch Zai die. actually survived this CCNC. Yeah, he just barely got out of that. Good stun. Meanwhile, Brewmaster died. He actually died Greetings almost in his tier 3 tower on top fortified. lane. Just being dived out of their minds, and they, hey, look, they left mid lane. Ramsey's forcing it with the catapult wave. Radiant so if Optic want to try and come down the bottom lane to defend against VP's push, they have to let their mid lane go. Finally, some sentries coming in from PPD. Hoping that Ramsey's will commit Not to some kind of fight so 33 can open up on him. Tower. It's the end of the death pack, so there it is. Pull him in, swap him up. Dragon Silence is out, but it won't matter. Or will it? Ramsey's into the trees and away. No way does he get away with this. He does. They didn't know he ran up. They thought he ran down or at least hung around. That's such a fast global from Solo. That was super good communication. Pretty much instantly when he gets swapped, they global. And they do get him out of there. Very nice for me. 
I wonder how many, by the way, I'm joking about these Monkey King CS, obviously, but I wonder how many of his CS are spiders. Because yeah. when it says these 120, it's a bit difficult to grasp like how the mid lane truly went. Oh, good stuff. Oh, they got another one. Big stuff. They were really trying to hunt him down hard. Radiant structures but are fortified. I still wonder what is the cost and yeah, his bottom tower. Pasha is pressuring it a lot with his side lane wind ranger here. Going for the zero three four build. Maxing wind run is pretty common nowadays. Mm -hmm. Here comes Brewmaster. <laughs> I say that as though he's a core. He's level five. Yeah, he's a level five trying to hit level six. They gave uh, PPD the tome for that swap play earlier. So, sentries nice everywhere. They see 33 so clearly. And 33 should know this that uh, sentry ward they planted previously was de warded. So, defensive observe wards up from PPD. That uh, is a pretty tight channel that you want to try and control in mid. But thanks to the observe wall, that's nice and aggressive from VP. Very close to the tower. Optic will not want to commit a sentry ward to get rid of that. But they'll try and find the kill with Clinks. He's just got the javelin to work with, and PP uh, and Pasha's Radiant's already on the run. Even burns a regeneration rune. Under the sentry, 33. Pasha should have got vision of this for a quick moment, but we're going down. Ginger's Nice timing yeah. from Optic. That's a small window when it's level 4 Windrun. It has 6 seconds downtime, so they kind of have to catch Windrunner almost right after. And he had half a second before that Windrun yeah, was back was up close. again. And it does dodge, it does dodge uh, projectiles that are mid-air as well. Dark Willow into the Terrorize, trying to force the Phantom Blazer to run into the Bramble. Able to do so, but Doppelganger down, and Curse PPD. He's got a stun available, finds the right target, connects onto no one, but Pycat, man, one curse after the other. He just can't survive, and no one will run through him. He time lapses just at the very end. He waited maximum duration for this. Meanwhile, Zai is being hunted by Pasha as well as Randy's back in towards the mid lane. So you get a kill on the Dark Willow, but your trade off is your PL and Brewmaster. No bueno. Well, if you're optic, what's what's the opposite of that? If you're uh, if mucho bueno, mucho. PP looking very very good. That's pretty much everything I know in Spanish, by the way. It's, it's more than Spanish. I do. <laughs> <laughs> it's Spanish. I only ever know the really bad accent. That's all. <laughs> Oh, Ramses is not giving up on this mid. He's going right. to go, go BKB build as well. I just better. glanced over. It's muy bueno. Oh. So what is mucho? Radiant's Isn't that also one? Am fallen. I making things up here? Mucho uh, is a lot, right? I don't know. Maybe just uh, it's, it's the context of it all. It needs to be right. Invisibility. Uh, I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure I said something that was understandable. Apart is on the run once again. Waits around under Invis for the 15 minute bounty runes, and here we go again. Zai knows. Invis here is sitting right on top of him, and VP claim all of the 15 minute bounty runes. They are really being on point of this. Got all the 10 minutes, all the 15s. How yep. many of the th first, uh, the five minute ones did they get? Uh, I think three. Uh, or? It was three or three or two. Yeah. It's such a big lead that they've already managed to, to fill oh. now. 7,000 gold is. <laughs> It's no joke. How much does I wish he had something more like a Tuscar instead of this Brewmaster? He wants the hero the Brew looks like with this set on. Not the hero he's got. Oh, swap. Into the stun. They found him. Global Silence comes in. And there's no real follow-up onto Ramsey. In fact, it just allows Pasha to run him real, real close. Brewmaster has to go into the split. Ramsey still hasn't got down the hillside. Now he does so, but the Earthling Brew spun. It actually does enough. They'll send him up towards the air. Then more damage up the hill. Landing and searing arrows. Ramsey's finally brought down. 33 is the man to claim the money for at 500. And damn, Optic needed something, and they got something. That's the biggest kill they can get. It did cost them a lot of time, though, but... It just relieves pressure. Global was burned for VP as well, so it's it's pretty good. It's global for a primal split and a kill on Brood. It, it doesn't get much better than this right now, to be yeah. honest. Like, realistically, you're not going to find a much better fight than that one. And they may be thinking about it. Actually, no, they're not. They're not thinking about Jack. <laughs> it's nothing to be had. Pycat still needs his farm. He wants to get the Diffuser Blade up and running. Of course, some kind of like range spam that's problematic to Virtus Pro and not just easily dealt with. CNC and C is also building up. Now finish up the Shadow Blade so he can at least stand inside of his Wukong for a little longer. 
And again, with the amount of observers and sentries that VP has been buying, that may be problematic. As now VP go in for Roshan, the Dire Scan is out. No information from the Radiant. Good deep observer wards inside the mid lane as well, so they know what's going on. And now the pinks are coming, but it's too late. VP already claimed Roshan. Instant smoke. Yep. Look for the next move. CCNC's waiting. He'll break the smoke. Sentry war gets planted. Dust as well. CCNC's out of range of it. They're beating Close on call. Dyer's top tower. So first but item, Shadow Blade on Monkey King is not as common as the Echo Saber build. But I think in this game, CCNC just feels like he needs to be able to position himself to get an ulti off. No, oh, PPD's found a friend. It's not a friend. Well, he's got a, he's got a friend nearby. Yep. Stance is, is stun, uh, his TP out, there is no stun, oh. as uh, Shackle was already used. Actually didn't want to use the Terrorize for that. Thought it was more valuable to save it. I'm sure that one would have connected in time, and Roger knows that. Uh, CCNC has got, to, has got to stop farming underneath the Observer Wards. This entire problems. game, like, VP just knows exactly where he wants to farm. So they're watching his item progression. Yeah, CCNC, just play outside the wards, dude. Radiant's yeah, they're everywhere. I know. Somewhere else. They're right there, man. <laughs> How do you not know? They have a ward in every lane, so be like, where do you go, honestly? Like, <laughs> VPCs, they have basically grabbed themselves 70% of the map. If you look at them at the map right now and you think of the wards that they have as like a new line, you just draw. Yeah, here. Down oh. there. Yeah. So VP owns everything to the right of that. They own all of it. And you gotta alleviate that pressure. You can't just accept playing on 30 or 40 percent of the map until this game ends, because yeah. I don't think that will give enough space to the PL. It, it's not gonna work. So they just need. Well, how do you relieve that pressure? They did it before when they killed off Ramses, but doing that again is gonna be more difficult. He's got a full BKB completed. D ward from Solo again. Oh, man's a king of this. Uh, they're they're ta taking bottom lane now. There's nothing Optic can do to stop this. No one's already way too strong, they can just delay it. There's an Aegis on this Weaver as well. Oh, they found PPD. Yeah, he's on the... Hey, he, was, he was trying to get rid of the ward. He put a sentry down looking for him. The sacrificial ward scout. It's a very selfless act. He kind of has to do it. Like, yeah. somebody got to do it. Either they make a team move and try to de-ward with a team move, or... He has to take risks, and he can die every time, so they have no idea what's going on. 19 minutes in, VP. Try and go high ground, they curse up Zai. He still got Bruce with a bar bar, and they found Monkey King. The first to control the follow-up terrorize. Can they actually kill off CCNC before he can react? He silenced for the moment, now he can one charge. He already went to the Shadow Blade, but there was no way he could hide. They had the dust, they had the detection, and the Rumor split was not providing enough control, and they don't have the players. PL can TP back. Klinks is now only just starting to do it. They've already taken the tier three tower. Brumar's split has ended, and the curse has just continued. VP, they are owning this optic base. The buybacks are up. And they really are doing all of this for the greater Pycat. So it can get started. Though. Nice area oh, from 33 to find the kill there. But now Ramsey's into the BKC. 33's got the damage. These are actually huge kills for Optic. If they can keep claiming more, but then the lockdown, the curse crown onto the curse. He could run away. But VP, Double they still haven't claimed the lane of Rice. They've lost four heroes. Yes, they forced buybacks. Two of them on the Brew as well as the VS. But is that. Is like that a, what they wanted? The fight okay. like nothing changed. <laughs> Pretty much nothing changed. There was one thing, though, which doesn't get calculated on this, and that was the amount of space the PL got. Because this does not yeah. calculate in the team fight recap. So he finished both of his uh, Blades of Alacrity. He went for Vanguard, too. He, I think he's scared that he's just going to get eaten alive by Broodmother. All yeah. the spiders, but it's also a great item against the Weaver. Like, Vanguard has a lot of value here. Um, and if Pycat feels like they can buy enough time that he can go for that little bit of a stop on the way. It could pay off big later on. Well, no one's found Pycat, but then again, there's a lot of Pycat to deal with. And no one's still got to try and find the real one. Ventral Spirit's nearby, and wow, there's no one. Yeah, he's he's doing this. Wind Range is on her way down. She has the Blink Dagger, but Pycat's out. If no one really wanted to go for that, he still had a DD in the bottle. He was just... Uh, he was just trying to force him out of the jungle. Force him away. Don't let him farm. And if he baits rotation as well, which there was like half a rotation coming from PPD, there's even a little added bonus. And VP are just back down here, controlling the area again. Yeah. Like you said though, that Clank's MKB proved to be really important there in killing off the Broodmother fast enough. Uh, we'll see if 
Ramses plays it a little bit more cautiously in the next fight. If he has that insatiable hunger running and BKB, I don't think he dies right Not now. Much good's yeah. happening to and there's still such an early BKB too. They need to make this work. Observe the sentry, sentry. They threw down three. 33. Now with the curse crowned on him. And the double curse no connected onto Zai. And he's just going to brutally split. Nope. They're slowing it down. Aegis yeah. Immortal is now timed out. They're looking towards the Weaver. With a double damage trigger, he's backing out. But remember, this is a split game. That Ramsey's like, just forcing in the mid lane. That looked like they did not have the Aegis timed. <laughs> I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> I'll get out of there. Well, they, they managed to escape. They didn't have to go able to save, save him even, so. I like how they're giving the farm to Zai. He's, uh, okay, he has to clap because he missed the timing on it, but uh, it's a blink dagger. He still has to be cautious with blink clap splitting because he can get global after he blink claps, so. He might have to use it to just blink split. But he needs the damage, right? He needs to blink clap uh, onto the spiderlings, onto the onto the push. They can deal with the spiderlings with... Um, with the Monkey with, King? With Dispel. Oh, with the, Dispel? The Storm Panda kills all of them. They're summoned. Okay. So... At least, I believe so. I think they should. Summoned units. I think it do, did actually happen one time in the bottom lane. I'm pretty sure he dispelled all of the of Ramsey's army, which is really nice. Oh, swap. The they found Pasha? Oh, no, they, they didn't find shit. Uh, Pasha's running away. <laughs> Sorry, we could use that word during group stage, right? Yeah, we're fine. <laughs> Gabe, if you're watching, we didn't mean it. I'm <laughs> Sorry, Gabe. <laughs> I'm sorry. Pasha, Blink, perfect oh. Jackal, 33 and Zion locked together, the Terrorites as well, so they can't instantly react, more dust, more reveal, where are these buybacks to be put to the test right now, Quick's using his, the tower is low, no one able to get back out with the time lamp, so a lot of that damage being negated, there's a quick stun onto Ramsey, the Shackle, Pasha, he's the real Tulex, PPT is going to get ripped apart, the Clings is down, that's the die back out from him, and CC and C, the Curse Crown follow Solo is low, so at least they get something back out of this. Hilarious enough, they still have to claim the lane of Rax. Pasha was looking towards the mid, but hey, maybe now he'll rejoin the bottom fight. The tier 3 tower is so low on life, the fortification will buy some time for Optic. But Pasha, so damn good. And he leveled up Shackle last. <laughs> They're looking for more. CCNC runs oh, forward. Able to get the stun. Weaver gets the time lapse off. Oh yeah, he has level three ult. Never mind. Doesn't matter. Doesn't yeah. But he's still on the run out of here. If that was a level two ult, he's dead. He literally had zero. But obviously. <laughs> I'm loving these wards from VP. They've got one inside the base away from Optic Sentry Ward. They even know there's a deep ward inside their base. And they didn't find it. Brewling split ends. Searching for Ramses. Nothing comes from it. You're still getting some more items up and running for, for Optic. So the Blink Dagger was already up, obviously. But BKB from CCNC. The absolute biggest item right now God. is Pycat's next item. Every that is... The Manta? Yeah, it's, it, they have to just buy time for this. Like, it, because of their... So what VP does have, they have two Maelstroms, and it is gonna, for now, be enough. But once that Manta style comes out, I'm not sure if they can kill off the illusions fast enough. Like when they just overwhelm them really quickly. Weaver. Pasha. Shackle. Flies. Will latch. As Monkey King obviously jumping to trees. He's surrounded by trees. I missed the power shot. He thought he caught him earlier with the Shackle, I guess. He could have solo killed him there. If he was patient and knew where the Shackle landed, he could power shot for a four second stun and then focus fire him to death. Speaking of patience, VP won't have to wait much longer. Roshan's up in one minute. Is this something that uh, Optic can even think about contesting at all? Yes, I think they can. And the way they do it is they get off a primal split and a wave of terror, and then they try to just isolate anyone with PL in the beginning of the fight. And if VP responds, they might be able to get off a good Monkey King ult. PP is coming easy. over with Observer Sentry, easy. so at least he can plan it for Vision nearby. Oh god, they're taking so long to get out there. And that observer what inside the base is gone now. Uh, I'm, they smoke up. They are out of range of any vision from VP, but you see the position of Roger. He's waiting in front of Roshan, got the perfect obs and sentry up. Roshan seven seconds away. Power shot will not be able to scout it out, so instead, Optic will go for the long wraparound. It's already pinged by no one. Yeah. Trying to break it here. 
And Clinks, well, he's in this, he'll break it. Wave of Terror flies out, they put a defensive observer ward up on the hill. Great read. The VP still have the tier one tower? Like, I don't know how Optic are meant to win this when the tier one tower is there. Like, that buyback is wise, a very big problem. Actually, actually, buyback wise, there's only Wind Ranger who has buyback. Silence is just a little bit short. But the lanes are pushing in. And Pike is still working towards that Manda style. He's only got a 1.9k surplus. Roshan's up. And uh, already the power shots from Pasha are clearing off the trees that Monkey King can use. The challenge for VP here is not to get the Roche. They'll get that for sure at this point. The, the Radiant side is way too far back in their base. They're going to smoke. I think they will be too late, regardless. Yeah, that yeah, damage output is... They hit so fast. They have yeah. AC on Brood. So the challenge isn't getting this AP's cheese. The challenge is setting up a fight in the enemy base that they win convincingly enough that they can get two lanes of racks. Because I think even getting one lane of racks right now doesn't completely end the game as such. They, they need a bigger advantage than that to ensure that PL doesn't full-on start overtaking the game like mm -hmm. they have a big lead don't get me wrong they're very very favored to win this game yeah but would you, would you like to see their favor actually it's only 68 percent according to uh that's the thing that, that that is pl that that graph is pl's win chance or 100 minus pl's win chance so oh. zion ppd roger walks in nice and close they got quite cc and c jumps in a quick global silence means monkey king's actually stuck up on the tree line and now it's brewmaster who gets the split up just in time he gets it off but there's more trouble for clink bs has to swap him out of the wukong command but ramsey's under the cover of bkb just chases down cc and c this kill they will be able to claim and that's one hero can't buy back, make it two. The Brutally Spitz is going to last a little bit longer, it's up You're to Pycat. He needs to find Double something kill. out of this. The Double curse is kill. around. Zyra going to get a quick clap, but it's Pycat versus the world that is Virtus Pro. Another Bramble, triple Double kill for Roger of all people. And Optic Gaming pushing up the daisies. At least their base will look nice. There's some flowers. I kind of didn't like this that much from Optic because I feel like they gave VP what they wanted, right? They, this was the kind of fight that VP were supposed to set up for themselves, and I think Optic just made it a little bit too easy for them by going out in the middle of nowhere out here and just getting global on and open. This fight in their own base is a lot harder for VP, but now that they gave it for free, that's definitely one lane of racks. The mm -hmm. question is if they can get more out of this for now. That's why Pike has trying to slow it up. Monkey's up in three seconds' time. VP probably won't want to overstay. Ramsey's burning that BKB down to six seconds. They can still swap through that. But remember, he's got the extra life through the form of the cheese. That's exactly what he used to follow up. He's actually dropping low, but Ramsey, the damage is still dealt. 33 goes down. They want more and they need more optic. They need something. Sentry Ward's given the extra vision, but they're chasing after no one. His BKB will wear off in one second time. Solo will give him a little extra movement speed thanks to the drums but then again he's uh time lapse is down and he's got no man to work with so no one will fall the agassi mortal will pop he just time lapse back and still didn't have mana how often do you see a weaver time lapse and not have mana for shikuchi that's a, that's a rarity well, at least he can run off to the side Blink forward, they've still got the extra vision. CC and C jumps forward, needs to hit him a couple more times, and now I can slap him down. No one on the run. Cops to move for speed, and yeah, they don't see him anymore. And Parcher's in the neighborhood, they can't keep the chase going. So now, what are we at? 18,000 lead. There's only one lane of Rex, though. One lane of Rex, and Aegis and Cheese were expended. So the question is if VP can get the second lane without another Roche. I think it's still, it's still not that clear cut that they just end this game. And PyCat will have the Manta style coming out in 40 gold. That is a big item. He needs the space though. And the hunt's coming in from Virtus Pro and PyCat may be that man. You won 40 gold, but he's got no camps to farm up. They are actually going for this with Brood dead. That is so aggressive. They're me. gonna come underneath the Radiant Observer Ward. The smoke is still got enough time though. They'll make their way up. Zai reveals him. The smoke. He blinks very, very quickly. Terrorize flies out, and it actually connects on to 33. He's already in this. They dropped the sentry as well as the dust. So the vision is up. Not to Come mention on, the shackle. Of course kill. it is. Marsh <laughs> is just going to land everything. But Roger, the Thank kill the Pycat can go for. Finding it. PPD's run over for kill. support. The BKP's down for Virtus Pro. Maybe they're a little bit more cautious when the stuns connect onto Solo. CC and C can just get into this battle. He'll take the kill, but no 
from one. Here's BKB back off cooldown, chasing yeah, after the Monkey King with the Beatles on him. He knows there's no way he can hide out. And PPD's in exactly the same type of position. Pasha is searching for him in the tree lines, and he's gonna find him as he's gonna, yeah, they're gonna bump noses. The creep wave will come up to help PPD, but really this is the funeral parade and Pasha taunting Radiant him with a love kiss. I said bumping noses, not lips. <laughs> He's talking so hard in the trees. <laughs> Hello. He's holding here. PPD will finally die. Meanwhile, back in the real fight in mid lane. I didn't want to leave the top lane. Pycat, the full line of defense. I can blink in for a climb. He's got no more way to get back out of this one. So he dies almost instantly. By backs galore. But get the clamps on onto the Brood Mother, who's now going to BKB. His age will hunger up. It's easy and see. Decisions are regretted. And PP. PD will fall oh. down as well. There is nowhere safe on the map for the Optic Gaming captain. And uh, well, the silence, Pi Cat, well, thanks to Manta, he could dodge the last ticks of damage Double from it damage. and regenerate back in his base. But there's that second lane of racks going down. Radiant's middle and this should have probably be the end. They could just try to go for the GG here. There's 30 seconds on Venge, 20 on Brew, 50 on Monkey. And they know the buybacks were expended for both Monkey King and Venge. Mm -hmm. so. Basically a five on three situation Blinks. when the Bruce spawns. Into the back line, going Radiant after Pasha. The damage down. is negligible. Wind run just too oh, good, shit. and that is uh, forced by back out from Clinks now. They even get the Bramble initial sun on PL, but Doppelganger up. Okay, maybe just walk straight back into it. A little bit of this micro. Oh, but 33 without his death pack Radiant's available. Doesn't really hit hard falling. enough. And the rest of VP are bailing out. Good Two racks up. Chip. They can't take the third. Tier two tower still up. Two tier fours. If this top tier two was gone, they would have gone for Megas probably. Yeah. But not an option in that situation. They're preparing Radiant's it though. Top tower deserves At this just point, as much help as Basha looks to set up. I don't know if he's going to get this tower though. Depends if Optic are going to try to. I don't they think don't Optic can like take. Trying. Optic cannot take a fight outside. Like everyone has buyback or cooldown apart from Brew, who doesn't have money. VP can just buy their Radiant's way through if Optic want to try and fight outside, unless they get the jump. And they get the, the slap onto Pasha, but he's still on the run out here. Roger's nearby, and he's the easier target, but maybe not. Shadow Realm, CC, and C. Yeah, okay. They have no way of stopping that TP out in Shadow Realm after Boundless. Yeah. And they go all the way back to base. Into a very, very safe position. We can wait for the next Roshan. He may spawn up in a minute and a half. Meanwhile, bigger items coming in. Ramses, I'm seeing a relic in his inventory. Yep. <laughs> Don't get too excited, Toby. It's a nullifier. Uh. <laughs> uh. Oh, who I... knows? Who knows? Ramses might just be crazy enough to go for Reap again. <laughs> <laughs> and then loses, why? then loses the game. It's like, ah, oh, sorry, boys. My bad. It's fine. Least, VP's always laughing and giggling away when they're inside their inside their booth. There it is. So Basha in for Pycat. So at least some kind of potential lockdown chance through the, the heavy BKBs. That is, yeah, nullify for for the Brood. He's down to a five-second BKB. What do we got? We got five seconds on the Weaver as well, and win range is at nine seconds. So not a lot of immunity fallen. time for them. And Optic's coming out for a fight. Observer and Sentry down, however. The smoke is a break on PPD. Global Silence is out, and they all just want to bail the hell out of here. Terrorize jumps forward. Clinks can oh. TP out in time, and the Shackle, it caught Zai. My god, Pasha. Love. There's a shackle with his name on it. Killing C, C, and C will fall. Double kill. And that's the game. Three euros down. That's, uh, there is no way that Optic can now find this one. Even with the first hit bash from Pine Cannon to no one, he'll time oh. runs off the damage. And GG is called. Virtus Pro will 2 0 in their first Dying series of TIA. This was a, a really interesting. How to say. It was interesting to see this game play out with how the draft went in order. We saw a first phase Brood pick after Clinks, and that basically put VP in a position where they could force the Clinks to play in the side lane. I still think 33 did a really good job.